Hi guys, I just wanted to give you it's just a quick heads up on this one. Once you get past the basic part of the recipe, then this would be a good video to watch while you're doing something else around the house. Because um, a lot of it is just listening to me talk. And there's not a whole lot of action going on on screen. So anyway, with that, here's the video. Hi everyone, I am Derek Goodwit, and thanks for checking out my channel. Today, instead of playing with yarn, I'm playing with beeswax and coconut oil. I'm going to show you guys how I make my lip balms. This is the formula I use in containers like this. So you see, I have I have my my tray filling tray, but it doesn't fit the the um, lip balm containers that I have, so I just have them filled in a can, and I will fill them with. I have a, a clean syringe I'll use to fill them. So what I've got right now is just a pan, just a plain water, and then a glass bowl sitting on top of it. On the glass bowl, I have 20 grams of um, beeswax. Now, if you buy the beeswax pellets, it's two tablespoons, or actually 20 grams would be four tablespoons of beeswax pellets. But I have a combination of the pellets plus um, beeswax bars that I've chopped up. So what I do is I do equal parts beeswax and solid coconut oil. So that would be, so we're doing the, it's the equivalent of four tablespoons. Oh, and that's a half tablespoon marker there. So I'll be doing eight of these. That's two. Three. Four. And yes, I washed my hands before I started all of this. Five. Six. And I love my metal measuring spoons because they make it so much easier getting the heart, the solid coconut oil. Because I have, in the past, used plastic ones and broken them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going with one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be seven. I may be off by one, but it's not going to hurt it if I am. And that's eight. And then I will do, oops, sorry about my belly there. What, um, okay, turn that down a little bit now that it's, the water's boiling. Um, so since I used the equivalent of four tablespoons of the solid um, coconut oil, I'll use two teaspoons about two teaspoons, two tablespoons of the, the actually, uh, actually it's a half tablespoon, two halves, so one full tablespoon. I lied. Four tablespoons. Half, because you use two parts to two parts to one part. So two parts beeswax, two parts solid coconut oil, one part liquid oil. Now you can use a liquid coconut oil, you can use a liquid um, almond, I've used almond oil, this is olive oil. Um, 
I've used shea butter. It just depends on what you're wanting to use it for. I mean, what your preference is. And then you just sit there, and at this point, we let it stir. Right now, it just looks like a really gross soup. Can you see it there? Kind of like a really gross soup. You bounce you around here. Whoa, about knocked you over. So, while we are stirring that, now I use different essential oils in it. My, my go-to essential oils, and the essential oils I will add at the very last minute. My go-to is lavender and rosemary. That's just, that's my, kind of my preferred scent. Um, when it comes down to um, lavender's relaxing, but the at the same time the rosemary is energizing, which I know sounds kind of like they would cancel each other out, but it doesn't. It just rela it gets, helps me deal with the stress, but gives me the energy to keep you know keep going. So now, if you are using the beeswax bars, they do take longer to melt. So than the than the pellets do. But obviously the oil, the coconut oil will melt fairly quickly. So we just sit here at this point and relax while the um, while the beeswax is melting. Even the pellets are still you know working on melting. Oh, and I think I found a chunk of coconut oil that still has to dissolve. This is making my glasses fog up. But I have, I also have, I mean, I, I have tea tree oil that I've done occasionally. And spearmint I've done on request. And there's more lavender. Lemongrass. Someone's got to beg me to do lemongrass. That is, I know there are people that swear by lemongrass. But to me, it smells like melted cough drops taste. You know, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, I know you just love staring at my shirt, my belly. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that essential oils will cure anything. One, I'm not a doctor. I can't give medical advice. Even when I was still a licensed nurse, I couldn't give medical advice. Um, and two, I know, I mean, their essential oils have some benefits, but I'm not, I mean, I don't believe that, you know, they're going to cure cancer or we want not. It's more of, you know, I use, you know, the, the aromatherapy, I believe, I believe in aromatherapy in conjunction with other stuff. I'm not going to sit there and say, um, that, you know, using lavender is going to get rid of my anxiety or that rosemary will get rid of my depression. But I will tell you that for me, it helps. I mean, everybody's got to figure out what works for them. And see, and now my beeswax pellets, okay, I've got to lose the glasses because every time I look over there, they fog up. The beeswax pellets have pretty much dissolved. Now we're just waiting for the chunks of the beeswax bar and it's getting there. Um, now I know that like citronella you know, it repels um, mosquitoes. And I think, like, lemongrass is supposed to repel something. You know, I mean, there are different, you know, natural medicine existed before we had the medicine that we have now. Some of the natural stuff has evolved into the medicine we have now, um, like peppermint. A lot of times peppermint really works for helping soothe nausea. Um, so does eating ginger. Um, like I, I have a problem with chronic, you know, nausea just from having, um, post nasal drip. So it drains all night. And when I wake up in the morning, it makes me sick to my stomach. I have Zofran in my medicine cabinet, but I also have been known to eat, um, candied ginger to help with it. 
Okay, so all my beeswax pellets just decided to all dissolve raw, all, or the, the bars, all at once. So what I do now is find something to set this on so that I'm not getting oil everywhere. And this lip balm, I can also use, it also makes a great um, lotion bar, like moisture, like after I put it, what does it fit in the, in the containers I'll put in here, like my overflow, and then use it at home. So, and then I don't necessarily measure the lavender. It was just kind of um, trial and error um, because some of these bottles, it's hard to count the drops. You know, I can't sit there and say five drops or, or 0.2 mils because it's just not necessarily an exact science. I know that I will use a lot more ro um, lavender than I'll use rosemary. But that's the scent that I like. So when you do this at home, you'll figure out the scent that you like and the combination you like. Okay. Now I leave the heat on low because I don't want this to solidify in my bowl. So just open my syringe. And I don't use the needle part, so that can go in the sharps container here in a little bit. So what I'm doing and I don't pull up a whole bunch at once because it does solidify pretty quickly. Is I'm just filling my cup, my little piles in here. And if I put too much in it all at once, then it gets um starts cooling in the tip. And then when I finally push it through. It splashes back and just makes a mess. So it's easier to do a lot of little trips of the small ones or small amounts. And all this, I'm still working on one tube. And I don't bother with trying to clean the syringe when I'm done. I know that it was clean when I started. Um, I will just throw it away when I'm done. Because syringes are cheap enough that, you know, you may as well just get new ones each time. And usually when I'm making this up, I'm making a double batch right now. So generally if I'm making just for myself, I do it two tablespoons of beeswax, two tablespoons of solid coconut oil, one tablespoon of the liquid oil. And I would just fill it to the top of the tube or the canister because when it cools, it will sink down a little bit. So all that just filled one. And I mean, they, they sell little, you know, you can get little pipettes and, um, to where you just squeeze the top. And I probably will order those the next time. That's what I've used when I help my sister make these in Mexico. We use the pipettes. Uh, I just happen to have these syringes that I can't use for my weekly injection of my testosterone. So, I, because the... Needles slide on, not lock on, and my medicine is so thick that it just pushed the needle off and acted like a blow dart in my leg, which wasn't fun. Okay, that's two of them full. Whoa, that's a little too much. And 
Now this is the recipe I use if I'm going to put them in canisters like this, or I have some that are smaller, or if I'm putting it in chapstick. I'm still working on the formula for if I use them in the um, tubes like this, where it's like Blistex or... So I've got three completely full and I just spilled off the side of one of them, but I can wipe that off when it when I'm done. And this cup that I have them sitting in, I don't ever drink out of, so I'm not worried about I mean it's not it's not really unsafe to you know consume. I mean it's you know it's going on your lips, so it has to be that. Uh, has to be safe. And these are, and I do use the high quality, you know, the therapeutic grade uh, essential oils just to make sure that they're safe. But I'm not an advocate of up. Oh, I'm not an advocate of, you know, drinking or eating, you know, essential oils in huge quantities. But what I use, you know, what small, tiny, tiny amount I would ingest from using his lip balm is safe. Okay, so that's four full. And I have used, I've done this before, where I have put, um, like, um, not essential oil, the um, peppermint oil or the mint oil, like you would put in baking, I put in there so that, or, you know, strawberry extract, vanilla extract, different things so that I can have flavored, um, but that's not always been a big priority for me. For me, the scent is what I want. I, I mean, I want the moisturizing effect, which I get from the coconut oil. The beeswax acts as a stabilizer so it doesn't completely melt as soon as you put it in your pocket. But that's also why you've got to start, you've got to, I use a mix of solid coconut oil and liquid coconut oil is so that I can carry it in my pocket without it melting and making a mess. But... I use the, I mean, I'm very much a lip balm addict. You know, I used to buy chapstick in bulk. And because I had to have my chapstick and it would, if I got somewhere and realized I forgot my chapstick, I would go buy some because I had to have, I have to have it with me anywhere I go. But now with this, I can make my own, so I can make up quite a bit, and I never run out. But I like the scent of it, because I use the scent of my lip balm for aromatherapy. I actually have one of those. I don't wear it very often anymore, but I have a pendant for aromatherapy that you can put to the essential on the pad and have it carry it with you. Now they sell um, labels for lip balm tubes that you can get. They even sell some that seal the lid so you can tell if it's been opened. Just but because these are for my own use, I'm not worried that much about it. 
Although I probably will order some labels because I have been giving lip balms out to friends. So at least that way they can have something with the um, the scent printed on it. And I may find some that you can run through a computer printer. And, or even if I just get like the Avery labels and so that I could print out the ingredients so people could have with them. But I'm pretty good. But, you know, if I'm giving this to somebody, I'll ask first. You know, make sure they're not allergic to any of the ingredients. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far. Oh, I don't fill it up that far. I'm going to have to run the air conditioner for a bit after this. Stand it over here over the boiling water. Get me all nice and warm. Uh, not sweaty yet, but... Okay, that one's full. I'm going, to, I'm going to top off some of the ones that have cooled off. Now, if I had the tubes that actually fit in my tray, this would be a lot easier because I would just load them in the tray and then I could just pour directly into the tray and it comes with a spatula so that you can scrape it and kind of make sure it fits all the um, that you get all of the lip balm into the tubes. Well, we're sitting here while I'm filling the last of these. What essential oils do you guys like? What do you, you know, do you use diffusers for the aromatherapy? You know, um, what's your go-to scent when you do use them? Yeah, you know, just leave a comment down below and let me know. Especially if you've got a, a scent combination that you found that works really well for, you know calming or maybe energizing I'd like to know I know that a lot of times they like to use grapefruit as energizing and it works it's just not my favorite scent so if anyone found something else energizing that didn't involve lemongrass or so you know I like, I like lemon but not lemongrass lemon and um Uh, void lemongrass and grapefruit and I'd love to find something that would work for energy I've got three more to fill we'll see if I can fill all three or if I will fill one or two more and then go to pour the leftover I know this is not interesting to watch at this point you're just watching me suck out of the bowl and squeeze over here and it's hard you know you can't really see what I'm doing because I don't have an overhead camera set up I haven't figured that one out yet
and I haven't figured out how to edit to where I can show two things, two screens at once. Well, I might actually fill all of my tubes. Okay, I'm going to go and top up some of these real quick. And that's got all that full. I'm just topping up some that are already in here. I just kind of wish they'd cool off a little bit quicker so that I could see which ones need topped up. Okay, I'm going to call that good. So that goes over there. Then I get my handy dandy. silicone glove so that I can pick this up and then just pour what's left over into there and then at this point that can go off and this just dump the water and leave the pot to cool and at this point all I have to do is clean up as I'll sit there and I'll let these sit uncapped um, the big one I'll cap because it's not going to make a mess to cap it. But the little ones I'll let them cool off before I put the cap on just because they're filled completely to the brim. You can see in here. And then when they're cooled off, I will cap them and uh, I'll just, there you can see me now. I'll just cap them and the, you know, um, let them finish cooling and I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen lip balms in a tube and then a little bit left over in a tub. And I am set on lip balm for quite a while now. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and it is I do apologize, it is long, but I just couldn't um it was it was would have been really hard to start and stop. While in the middle of the process, and this, at least this way, you see how long it's going to take from start to finish. Anyway, have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.